Hi parents, I'm going to show you how you can log into Google Classroom to see what's happening in your child's class. So easiest way to log into Google Classroom is to sit down with your child and ask to look at their Chromebook. Um, they should already know how to access Google Classroom. Um, they just use the green and yellow icon, which is on your screen. And that icon is located uh, at the bottom of their screen. And when they click on it, it takes you to Google Classroom. Um, you don't have to use the Chromebook. If the student is using the Chromebook or it's busy, uh, you can also use any computer uh, to access Google Classroom from any PC. You just need to go to classroom.google.com. And then you'll need to sign in as your child. You need to know their username and their password. Uh, and if they haven't given you that information, you can ask the teacher or the office at the school to provide their username and password to you. I also want to mention that there are uh, Google Classroom apps available on most uh, platforms, including iOS and Android. So if you have a smartphone or a tablet, you can also access Google Classroom on that device. If your child has more than one Google Classroom, they can click on this to do button in the upper left. It'll give them a list of all of their assignments that are due uh, with the due dates and um, it'll mix together all the assignments from all their different classes. Um, or if you want to open the Google Classroom individually, you can see a lot more detail if you actually click on the individual class and you have to open these one at a time. And the first page you're taken to is a stream. This is a list of announcements that the teacher has shared with the class. Uh, there may be links to files here. This is mostly general information for the students to access whenever they need it. That's how most teachers use the stream. If you wanna open the homework assignments themselves, then you need to click on this second tab, which is the classwork tab. And the classwork tab is going to be organized into topics. Every teacher organizes their topics a little differently. So, um, you know, in this case, we have a teacher who has a reading topic with a few assignments. And then if you scroll down, there's a writing topic with uh, some assignments. Some teachers don't use topics at all and uh, their topics may be very different. If you click this view your work button in the upper left, it will take you to a nice uh, easy list of all of the assignments that are currently active in the class. And some of these assignments will have due dates. For example, this one is due on October 2nd at three o'clock in the afternoon. So first thing you may wanna talk to your child about is are they aware of what assignments they have to complete and when the due dates are. You wanna pay particular attention to any assignment that says missing. This red flag that says missing, this means that an assignment has not been turned in yet even though it was already due at an earlier date. You can open the assignment here simply by clicking on it. And when the assignment opens, the uh, your child will be able to edit it uh, directly here. Now, of course, we don't wanna uh, do our homework for our children, um, but in a pinch, if the Chromebook for some reason isn't working and you may have another device, it is possible to edit the assignment here and even turn it in. When the student is ready to turn the assignment in, they can click on view details and there's a button here that says turn in. And um, that's really important. We need to remind our students, remind our children that when they complete the assignment, the teacher may not know that it's done until they turn the assignment in. And that will also clear that missing tag. See now the missing tag has changed. It's not red anymore. It is now turned in late which means that it was submitted, but it was submitted after the due date. Okay, and um, there's a few other things that you can see on these assignments. If a tag says assigned, like this one, that just means that the uh, assignment has not been completed yet, but it is also not due yet. So that's probably something that the student needs to be working on. You may also see some assignments with scores. Uh, this one, for example, has a score of 75 out of 100, and there's a, a note that it was turned in late. And the teacher in this case has left some comments, please revise this assignment. It is possible 
to reopen an assignment and then turn it back in for, for more credit. Not all teachers use that option. There's also an option that some teachers use. Not all teachers use this, but in some cases, uh, teachers will invite a parent or guardian to get a summary from Google Classroom. And this is called parent guardian summaries. If you've chosen to do that, and if your teacher has invited you to do that, then you can receive a summary uh, either daily or weekly of all of the assignments in that class and what work has been completed and what work is missing. So I hope this information has been helpful. Uh, if you have questions, again, reach out to your uh, child's teacher or to the office at your school. Thanks a lot. Bye.